Hello YouTube, this is Asnan from Trending Codes and you're watching this new video. In this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the virtual scroll and when should you use this virtual scroll while creating your uh, Ionic 3 app. If you're implementing the Ion list and uh, if it is kind of uh, Ion avatar and you're implementing a list then you should use the virtual scroll because uh, it is must to increase the performance of your list uh, if you'll be having a list of uh, uh, let's say for an example in, inside your list that uh, there is an um, thousands or hundreds of data or the items inside your list then for sure your ion list is going to create a problem in a scroll performance to solve that problem or to remove that bug from your ionic 3 app you should use the ionic virtual scroll and i'll just show you how you're going to use that and what how it gonna work and everything so the here is the example in this in this list what i'm going to do is uh, uh i have just implemented the image over here and beside that image i'm just uh, giving an uh, heading or a, a title of that particular program or this is the basic app I have created for my lab manual in my classes uh, in my college so uh, in this in this example or in this virtual scroll list what I have done is see as you can see this is creating a problem if I scroll it won't load at the same time it will it will just take a time and if you do that by a virtual scroll you are not going to face that problem okay so uh, if your list is like this way, uh, if your list is containing the image and the header and so many all the stuff, then for hundred and one percent, your virtual scroll will work smoothly while scrolling your list. If you're if you're not going to implement a virtual scroll, then hundred and one percent, you will be facing a problem while scrolling your Ion list. So let's get started. So first of all, uh, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to remove the code watch I have written over here. Okay, and we're going to create the ion list first of all. Okay, now how we want to create your ion list? Uh, it is simple, just like um, we create normally. That is ion list. Now, as you know, if you are implementing the ion list, there should be an ion item inside that. Okay so uh, we're gonna create the ion item okay once you create an ion item now here is the main thing what you should take care of while creating a virtual scroll now here you will tell your um uh, your ionic or uh, first before doing inside the ion item i should recommend you to go inside the ion list and take an attribute where you're going to implement the virtual scroll so uh, you're gonna say that um, here I'm going to implement the virtual scroll and you should write virtual scroll okay now once you once you have uh, given a virtual scroll right over here now you should tell the ion list that from what array you're going to fetch the data from okay so from for uh, in this example i'm going to fetch the data from this i'm sorry from uh, this array which i have created right over here um, right over here public my prg and it's of type array so i'm going to uh, fetch the data from this array so i'm going to say to my list that the virtual scroll should implement or should fetch the data from this particular array once you have written this okay you are um you have created a virtual list but you should take care of all other things where you should manage the height and width of the data okay so uh here i'm going to say uh approx uh item height so approx item height which will be giving height to my the to uh, to the items of the ion list and uh, let's take 40 pixels it would be better okay 
So for now, uh, we'll be implementing this part of the uh, or this many attributes for the ion list tag. And uh, if you if you don't want lines inside the ion list, you can go with one more attribute that is no lines. I hope that that you know this, no lines. Okay, now. Let's come inside the ion item and inside the ion item we're gonna create the uh, ng floor. Now while, while using these uh, virtual scroll there, there is a um, different syntax for your ng floor. Uh, you should use the uh, star virtual uh, what's that virtual I guess virtual items or it's just an item it is virtual item so virtual item equals to let uh, let item so we're creating an ng4 where our data will be fetched with the help of this variable item okay so okay now we can easily fetch the data uh, with the help of uh, virtual item now here uh, we're gonna make one uh, image or we're gonna implement the image where the data will be coming from the it's a, it's not an uh, basically it's not an image i'm going to create one division i'm going to give the uh, background color for that division and then uh, the text where i have just shown you that it was written like 1a 1b i have just shown you in the example so uh, I'm going to create one division and inside the division uh, I'm going to say that it should be on the left item left okay now uh, I'm going to give this style that is background uh, style dot background um, image or no no background color and I'll be taking this thing from my uh, array so I should type item dot c o l o r so if you're confused I'm going to show you what the what are the things that I have stored in my array if you'll see or if you'll take a look on the java.ts file uh, here it is um, my probe dot push there is a name where I'll be holding one a 1b 2 of 1 2 of 2 all those stuff so name of the program here is the heading of the program here is the code where i'll be storing the code of that particular program of java here is the image where i'll be getting the image but i'm not going to take image right now and here is the color so i'll be i'll be taking this color or the background this is the background of that particular color so for the first the color will be taken for the first item the color will be taken this one for the second item the color will be taken this one and that goes on until the list gets over okay now once you're done with this uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna create some styles so i'll just take style equals to we're gonna implement the inline style i'm sorry uh, style equals to I just close the do tag okay now inside this style uh, we're gonna take that width of this particular division should be something 60 pixels okay and what about the height uh, I will take the height same as 60 pixels so it will be equally shown on the screen and our border radius should be something 50 person i guess that will make a clean circle okay 50 person mm. border radius Mm, okay so uh, let's go ahead and create the uh, the name of that particular uh, program so I'm gonna just, just save and I'm gonna create the 
H4 where I'll be holding the name of the programs that is uh, uh, can you you can you can just take a look over here what is the name here is the name 1b 1a 2 of 1 and all those things so I'll be uh, giving the name of the programs right over here so if I want to fetch that I'll just go with the item dot name correct yeah let's take a look how it's look like okay so can you see I have just created the uh, backgrounds but I have just I'll just save now and you'll be getting the numbers right over here the name of the programs I have just saved that and it's not affecting the border radius properly I don't know why border radius 50 percent okay what's wrong mm. okay uh, let's figure it out for some time okay if I go on the progs I'll be okay some problem is there uh, let's fix it okay so um, item dot name and then what we're gonna do is uh, okay the, the, the problem uh, is over here is like we should take this uh, h4 inside the division so that it will be centered in that particular division okay now once we get the item uh, once we get the item uh, we're gonna create one button inside the ion list which will be navigating us to the different page so I'll be creating a button and inside the button I should tell this button you are a part of an ion list so I'll be telling that you are an ion item okay now inside this uh, I'll be uh, I'll be putting the name of the program and to do that I'll be just telling that item dot uh, item dot heading okay so here it is like I'm just giving the item dot heading is just like right over here check the capacity of the string buffer objects implementing the inner class and demonstrate it access productions all those things so on the left hand side I'll be having the program name that is 1a 1b and on the right hand side I'll be having the heading of the program I'll just show you how it is work okay see that's what I'm talking about I'm getting the heading name right over here and then I'm getting the program name so uh, this is how you can improve the performance of your uh, screen or of your list okay and I hope uh, you have gained some knowledge from this video and I don't know why the uh, border radius is not working um, uh, let's go ahead and try to fix out in the Google Chrome what's the problem in the water radius it should not do like that mm -hmm. okay what's that all about where is that where is that where is that where he created that particular thing in Java or HTML inside the uh, division which we have created and the division okay now all these codes are dynamically generated so it's so hard to figure out where the problem is right over here isn't it yeah this one okay so if I try to add the border radius over here mm, 
border radius um 50 percent is it working yeah it's working so let's go ahead and copy and paste the same thing right over there inside your why well, it's not working over here maybe a spelling mistake i'm too with i'm too bad with these spellings yeah it was a spelling mistake Uh, let's see how it works Okay, if I go to programs, it will be checking. Yeah, that's it. We got a border radius So this is how you can create a virtual scroll and it is so easy to create and um, I hope you you like this video if you if you like this video don't forget to click on the thumbs up Comment if you are facing any problem. I'll be helping you once I'll be getting your um, command on the particular uh, videos, and I'll be get back to the uh, to you people by just uh, the command. And if you if you want to make uh, if you want to tell me about if I if I should explain you something or if I should make a tutorial on something, just let me know in the command and we'll just work on it and i'll just try to help you out how it works and i'll explain you as much as i can make it easy and we'll work on that so uh i have if you if you want to uh, create animations you can use the animated.css and um you can you can create and you can give the animations uh let's say for an example i have just uh implemented the uh, animated.css and in the implemented.css uh, I'll just give a class over here and uh, I'll just give animated and I'll be telling it should zoom in zoom in okay so if I just save and I'll just take a look over there over there when I go to the uh, java.html page it will be uh, it will be zoom in and come up uh, if it will not work uh, smooth over here because of my um, screen record problem uh, it won't show you smooth see it, it won't show you show you smooth but if, if you will implement for 101 percent it will it will work you can see uh, see it is coming from the down to up it is zooming up so i hope you like this video uh if you like this video don't forget to click on the thumbs up okay uh don't forget to subscribe because i'll be sharing more videos and you will be get notified once you click on that bell icon if you're watching from your mobile phone don't forget to click on the bell icon okay and i'll catch you in my next video till then keep coding and take care bye bye